the, which the typical one is, um, let's say we're in C major, five to six. And so that would mean my bass is going to go like that. Well, whenever your bass is moving up by step, you always want to think about moving the other voices down against it. Okay? That'll help you avoid parallels. So you want contrary motion against the bass going up, the other voices moving down. Because you can imagine if I just voice this one like, um, let's say like this, and say, well, hey, there's my E there, and there's my A there, and there's my C there. Wow. <laughs> I've got this and octaves and you know. So moving everything in similar motion is not good. But moving everything in contrary motion is probably going to work out really well. So um, let's say something like that. I still want to actually resolve the leading tone up, because I know that's one of my main tendency tones. But then in order to avoid other parallels, I'll move the upper voices down against it. And then we end up with a six chord with the third of that six chord doubled. And so this is to one of the exceptions to root position double. Remember, in a, normally in a root position triad, we would double the root. But in a deceptive progression or cadence, traditionally the third of that chord is doubled in the six chord. And there's two reasons for that. One is the voice leading, you know, the leading tone resolving up and then avoiding the parallels with the other voices is one. The other thing is that, don't forget that the target of the five chord is really the one chord, right? That's where we're headed. And so the, this note C is the root of the one chord. So putting two roots in this chord helps it, help smooth that transition. So usually that's, what, that what's hap that's what happens. Now, it is also possible, as long as the leading tone is in an inner voice, to double the root. So that would be another possibility. But normally, you would just resolve it upward and, and get two thirds, OK? In a deceptive, that's deceptive progression only. So if, if I were to play what I've got written there, OK? Okay. 